one of the biggest problems of the Internet of Things is the fragmentation of different protocols, right? Um, one way to look at it is just like the Internet needed the web to become successful, the Internet of Things needs the web to be able to provide an application layer. We've been experimenting with that, implementing it in the real world at everything for several years. So we thought it would make sense to write a book on the web of things. And the goal of this book is to explain step by step how you connect products to the web, but also to capture the essence of why does it make sense. And through the book, you can see that it does make sense because it allows you to connect all kinds of products being bottles of drinks, handbags, or smart appliances to the web and then to integrate them to the great ecosystem of web services that already exist that can be analytics, visualization tools, social networks or any other existing service on the web. So that book is really about how you can build that, how you can make products smart the right way by connecting them to the web and giving access to these products to all kinds of applications and services. Writing the book was really, really challenging. Um, when we started writing it, we thought, let's gather what we learned at everything and then use our PhDs and let's rewrite our PhDs in, in a way that can be consumed by, by anyone to understand the web of things. But that just didn't work that way at all. So we ended up rewriting everything and talking about the whole story from understanding what the Internet of Things is about to understanding the different proprietary protocols and then adding the web aspect uh, to it so that you can very easily build your apps that interact with devices. So I guess the, the biggest challenge was just to, to be able to formalize all this knowledge into a book that made sense and that was you know, driving the reader through a journey of learning about the Internet of Things and the Web of Things. This book is mainly intended for people who want to build smart products, either their own smart products in a thinkering environment, like for instance if you want to make your home smart, or real product manufacturers who want to understand the digitalization of products and the steps that are required to digitalize their products, but also to understand why the web approach is actually the one that probably makes the most sense for them.